When I logged onto the server, there were only two thoughts that crossed my mind. I need to get diamonds fast. And I'm too lazy to mine diamonds. So I'm going to make a fully automated system to grant me infinite gear so I don't have to mine a single diamond ever again. Oh, and I'm going to sell that gear for unlimited profit. And it all starts with this base. Well, almost. But just you wait. It doesn't look too good right now, but with just a couple added upgrades and features, it'll turn into the best base on the server. And the first thing I would need is unlimited armor. And the only way this is possible is by getting the armorer er, er, villagers. So I want to gather two as fast as possible. Okay, why is there a raid here? After calling my friend for backup, we both barely survived with Ow. our basic armor. <gasps> oh! Reddish! And once the raid was over and the villagers were safe, we transported the villagers straight away. Soon enough, these villagers were turned into gear-making machines, able to produce entire sets of gear in seconds, because I really need that right now. But while getting the villagers a job, I realized that I didn't have enough emeralds to actually trade with, which is why this item comes in handy. Ooh, this is actually not that bad. We just need to start making more armorers, and with no time, we're gonna have max gear. But like I said, this is the Infuse SMP, a server with special potions that grant you abilities such as the emerald effect. We just need to wait for these guys to grow up. Oh, one of them just grew up. Wait, I'm making another armor. Emerald effect grants me hero of the village forever but when i activate the special ability it allows me to trade anything with these villagers for the cheapest prices <gasps> oh! oh we got full diamond armor pro three pro three. Oh, that's actually really good i'm gonna buy that right now and with the first villager complete we officially have the ability to buy enchanted diamond armor for basically four sticks but after getting the armor villagers i knew i couldn't be spending too much time gathering sticks for emeralds so i pushed the villagers downstairs to give myself enough room to make a string duper a device that gets me hundreds of thousands of emeralds just because of the amount of string it produces per minute Dude, I'm not gonna need to mine diamonds ever again. And while we were waiting for the string to stack up, Axo had something to say. I actually try to redesign every single base, so like... I want to hire you. Huh, alright. I want you to redesign and completely upgrade my base, because I'm not a builder. I'll say that. Alright, that, that's actually perfect. Remember that base from the intro? Yeah, that's actually coming to life. An OP base that can generate anything you need, and it actually looks good. But we also have to wait for Axo to collect the blocks. So in the meantime, let's continue by adding a way to get infinite tools. Tools such as swords, pickaxes, you and name the it. boat. I just realized I built this whole thing. I didn't even buy his axe yet. There we go. I don't even want to say how long that took. That's embarrassing. Okay, why is Axo at my base? <laughs> I'm not too sure where the third villager came from, but the first two were the most difficult. So I speed ran the final few villagers, and just like that, every possible tool villager is complete. And that concludes the entire middle floor. We got tools, armor, and just anything important. Now the last thing I need to do is make all the book villagers. Not gonna lie. I am not excited to work with these guys. <laughs> this is gonna be a long day. And even if these villagers take a long time to do, I knew it would all be worth it. Because by the end of this video, I promise to make the best base on this server. A base that everyone on the server will want to use forever. But before I show you anything else, how do people keep finding my base? Strife. Yeah? What the hell? He's got a peaceful house bro yeah bro i found this this base like not too long ago i was so confused on who's this is it's just... so you've just been chilling uh, here yeah <laughs> you just gonna live a peaceful life casa de strife <laughs> casa de strife i put a i put a sign on your on your on your house strife <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, the house has a name now. That's cool. And just as everyone left, I continued working on the villagers until suddenly, they came back. Oh! Oh my god! They're jumping me! This was really bad. Sure, I could get my gear back pretty quickly, but upon my death, I dropped the emerald effect, which makes this video 20 times more difficult if I don't have it. I Strife. need to get it back. What? was the point of that you're on team frost aren't you bro team frost was a group of my friends on the server who wanted to ice the entire world because it would be fun to run around it and jj didn't like that yeah i've just been here this entire sorry, time though yo this is the way it has to be don't walk away with the emerald effect listen bro like you know i was here earlier bro. i, I don't i don't want to beef with you i can't just stand here and let like the frost team do what they're doing like you, you know what they're doing strife yeah and you can really be on that team with like a a good conscience bro i'm asking of you to leave team frost i'm aware and join us listen i understand that like you want a team so i will i will give you your effects back no matter like what you end up choosing but i'm also hoping that you hear what we're saying i had gotten my emerald effect back but not without rethinking my entire team the team i'll be with for the end fight in just a couple days
but that's for later strife to worry about. For now, let's give you a tour. Okay, why is Reddish here? I swear, every time I hit record, someone shows up. Anyways, I have all the villagers complete that will get me maxed out gear. So with the power of editing, I'll try to get a maxed out set of gear as fast as possible. So three, two, and I officially have enchanted gear. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to tell you how long that took. It's actually embarrassing, but I have a lot of excess emeralds and I don't know what to do with it. This base is gonna make me so rich, but I feel like I've missed a couple enchantments, but I'm too lazy to figure that out. Oh, I need looting, don't I? There we go. Now we have max gear. I'm gonna go build the shop now. From the start of the video, I challenged myself to use the emerald effect and my OP base to create a shop that sells OP gear so I could gain a profit. And with enough items, I finally got to work on building my first shop. And I chose to build it at spawn so people would find it easily. But in no way did I expect it. We'll fix the outside, don't worry. Okay, what'd you do on the inside? No, 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 no. Sam! <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh. Oh. Yo, shit. Oh. Come, come in. <laughs> no, stop. Yo. Oh my oh. god. Why? Oh my. And after fixing the explosion, the shop was done. There we go. Now it's back to how it was. Now all I have to do is wait for someone to message me about a deal. In the meantime, I'll prepare for the end fight that's happening tomorrow. But there wasn't much time to prepare because people were already asking for deals, but nothing struck. It's the day of the end fight and Team Frost is gonna win. And let me give you a quick 30 second summary of what happened and how go, many go, people go, yeah, died. Go. Go. Get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready. Look at Moss, Look at Moss! He's I'm, I'm, I'm through. I'm through. What? Okay. I'm through. Don't work. Someone from it. Someone from it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done. Do so much damage to me. I can't allow a cooks, bro. How did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys have wood? Do you guys have any wood? No, I don't. Oh my god. Oh my god! Yeah, that could have been better, but at least many other people died during the fight. So soon enough, the deals will start rolling in. But in the meantime, I should fully upgrade my base so it's able to meet its full potential. And this death gives me the perfect chance to test out my base and see how I can improve it. I gotta time exactly how long it'll take for me to get maxed out gear. The timer starts now. Actually, a pain to trade with them when they're asleep. I'm wasting time. Spark right back up again to get a full set of diamond gear. And disenchant all of it. The boots can stay, I guess. Get the axe, the pickaxe, the sword, the mending. No, oh, I'm panicking. I'm running on fumes right now. Chest plate done, and my anvil's broken. Bro! Done, done, fully complete. Why are you here, Axo, every time? I, I don't know how he's here, but I think after all of this, this is the aftermath of an entire set of gear. Let me see how long that took. This base is working really well, because one hour is like no time to get an entire set of gear. But with a couple upgrades, I think I can cut that time in half. The only issue is getting XP. In the basement, I should probably get more of these villagers. Look at how many emeralds there are. This is insane. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that. For now, I think I just want to take a break. And after a day or two, Axo messaged me the complete plan of the base, so it was finally time to log on and complete what I had started. But I did download one mod that would make this so much more fun. Oh, this actually works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep this on forever. And we started by tearing down the whole build before building it back up. And luckily, Axo had given me his haste effect, so breaking this would be so much easier. Oh, this is awesome. This is insta mine. Oh my god, it's almost all gone, bro. <laughs> it's all gone. This is, it's been a while since I've seen this. You wanna see something cool? Uh, sure. So, oh, okay, just stay here. Whoa, oh my Let's gosh, this, this is how they do it. Let's get to building. <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, what? How do I keep finding places to fall into? This is actually looking so good so far. The whole server is gonna go crazy over this. Yeah, like for yeah, how yeah. frequent people visit this area, they're gonna be seeing this space for like the rest of the season. Orange and blue bit. Ah! Every time! Let's go up another layer. Oh! We're finding the concrete. That means we're at the roof. The roof is almost complete. That's done. This has been two and a half hours of work. Of Lego sounds. <laughs> In the project. Let's plate. freaking go! <laughs> oh Dude, my goodness. This base actually looks sick. 
Holy goodness gracious, this is such an upgrade. Although this base is filled with OP villagers and anything you need to get gear in seconds, I didn't think the base was done. And the reason for that is because we did not touch the basement at all. And as any smart player would, I outsourced my problems to someone else. Dude. What? Dude, you're actually amazing. The base works perfectly. And to top that off, the shop I placed at spawn had gotten its first customer. And although I couldn't talk to him in person, we were still able to strike a deal. He would give me anything I wanted for only 10 sets of maxed out gear. But before I spend hours working on that, I want to make sure I have enough anvils to make 10 sets of gear. So to make sure I never run out of anvils, I prepared an iron farm, and all that iron goes into this chest. Alright, so just like that, let the timer begin. That's only been 10 minutes and one set's already completely done. I don't have enough levels, but don't worry, I have the bottles. A second set complete, and the third set is complete. Wait, this actually takes no time at all. Fourth set fully complete. Okay, another anvil broke. Not a problem at all, because the fifth set... And what is that, the sixth set? I'm gonna need another shulker box to put on top of this one. And that is the seventh set. The eighth set. I need an entire set of diamond gear. Unenchanted. Get four mending. Four unbreaking. Three protection, because we already have the boots. Oh, and then not have enough levels, because I completely forgot that step. No! There we go. And another anvil breaking, that's fine. But that means the ninth set is completely done. I just have one more left. I only have three anvils. I need to make the final set, please. No! I only have two anvils left. And ten sets of fully maxed out gear. Okay. Is complete. This is actually insane. All I have to do is turn this into a vault. Which is why I've been waiting a little bit for the iron to collect up. So if I turn this into, where is it? Iron blocks. I'm just gonna have like a, a quick cut. I didn't really want to reveal the location of this vault, but it's done, it's built. And I'm ready to make the trade with Arkin tomorrow. I'll finally be able to get the armor trims that I've been working towards this entire video. The deal I made with Arkin allowing me to get armor trims not only makes my armor look all fancy, but it's one of the most valuable items on the server because it allows you to craft special effects like the emerald effect. And I'd finally have my hands on them when I talk to Arkin. Right. All right, so we were talking about a deal mm -hmm. and I have right. the vault completely ready. So you can see I've got all of them. It's just right this way. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I like the iron But you can check it out, well. these are completely maxed out. I'm on. Can, I, can I steal the iron blocks as well? I mean, it's your vault, yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is this is 10 armor sets, this is what we agreed on. So, um, thank you for showing me the, uh, here's the, uh, the Some of those trims are, like, impossible to get because they've all been looted, so thank you for the for the armor sets. And because a couple of days oh, back, like I helped what? Reddish make a string duper, he had given me the perfect amount of diamonds to make a full set of maxed out gear with the rarest trims in minecraft there is one thing i need to do though so these tanks have been pretty empty i think i want to name the first one turgeson w turgeson and this is your new home and i think your name tammy i don't know kind of looks like a tammy to me and the base is complete and if you've watched this far comment what your dream house looks like and i'll reply and while i'm reading my comments try watching this video on screen youtube thinks you'll enjoy it